Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a March manga haul. I'm going to be filming as the packages come in or as I pick up something. So today I have two packages and then two books that arrived yesterday. Yesterday was February, um, but I didn't show them in last month's haul, so we're going to show them in this month's haul. So let me unbox these two first and then I'll show you guys everything together. I have two Kodansha releases and two Viz releases. So let's start off with the Viz. Yesterday I received the final volume of Nana that I needed to complete my collection. Uh, this is volume 12. I am so happy now I can finally reread Nana. Then I got the Demon Slayer One Winged Butterfly light novel. I'm not much of a light novel reader, but I have been picking up the Demon Slayer ones and the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I started reading this one yesterday and I'm about halfway through. It's a really quick read and I'm enjoying the little short stories of the characters. So there is some art in here as well, I don't know if you saw. So that's a plus. Then I picked up The Witch and the Beast Volume 10. This is probably my favorite cover for the series. Uh, I think this series is only 12 volumes. I have read the first 5 volumes, but I'm waiting to binge read it when all 12 are going to be out in English. I love this cover so much. The colors and everything. The art is also really nice. Then I got Something's Wrong With Us Volume 13. This is almost to an end. I think there is going to be 18 volumes. Yeah, um, I'm actually really behind on the series as well. I think I'm on volume 8. It's been a while since I've read it, but I really want to get back into it. So that was today's haul, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys, it's currently March 2nd, and I just got my February Ami Ami package. I already cut it open, so let's look and see what's inside. I'm super excited. So this is the February illustration card. I got this in my last Ami Ami package as well. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's start off at the top. So the first thing I got is this Hanji Shikishi board. It's actually smaller compared to the other Shikishi boards I have. Super cute. I got the exact same illustration, but in an acrylic stand. I just really liked it, so I decided to get it. <laughs> then I got this Hanji acrylic stand. Ah, super cute. Okay, I'm gonna open those, but before we get into that, let me take off this. Okay, so I got the Maki Artifacts J Kotobukiya figure. I have the Nobro one, so I'm so excited that I have both of them now. Um, let me put this down. I'm currently doing a reread of Jujutsu Kaisen and I just passed Maki's arc and Maki is my favorite Jujutsu Kaisen character. So I'm super happy I have this. Okay, I'm gonna unbox them really quick off camera and I will show you guys all of the items. Here is Maki all unboxed and she looks so good. They did such a nice job on her figure. Close up. Her weapon was a little difficult to put on, but figured it out here I'm gonna do a 360 I don't have like a turntable maybe I should get one of those yeah I'm, I'm super happy that I got this figure it's just so well done and here's how they look on my shelf with Nobra both of these figures are so nicely done here is the first acrylic hanji stand base and the second one is huge compared to this one there's the base hi everyone it's March 6th and I just got a packaging from books a million 
my box cutter broke. <laughs> but it still works. So the first volume is Imakoi volume five. I've read volumes one, two, and three. I just need to read four and five now. This is gonna be the only a nine volume series. So it's gonna probably end by the end of this year. Then I picked up Ayashiman. Uh, this is by the same manga who did Hell's Paradise. I do not know much about the series, but I enjoyed Hell's Paradise, so that's why I picked this up. Then I got Yona of the Dawn, Volume 38. I'm gonna do a reread of this soon, probably this month or next month. The back, the cover is super cute. And then. I got Orange to You, Dear One. This is the final volume in the Orange series. I'm gonna read this one tonight for sure. <laughs> it's my haul for today. Hi guys, uh, it's currently March 10th and I just got a rights up package in the mail today. Wow, these really suck at. <laughs> right Stuff was having a shoujo beat sale this week. And I placed this order, like, on Tuesday, I think, and it's Friday currently, and it just came, so really fast shipping. There was one series that I've been wanting to get for a while now, but I told myself that I will wait for the Shoujo Beat sale, and it finally came. This is my... Alright. I haven't ordered from Rice Stuff in a long time. It was like... Okay. Let me get all the volumes out and then I'll show you guys them. These are out of order, so let me put them in order really quick. So I picked up a bunch of volumes of Snowy with the Red Hair. Uh, I already own volumes 1 through 4 and then 15, so I'm missing volumes 5, 12, is that it? <laughs> Just 5 and 12 it looks like. Oh, and 10. And 10. I'm missing 10 too. <laughs> Super excited to finally have this series. I have only watched the anime for Snow White with the Red Hair, so I have not read it. I'm super excited to get into it. I love the art. A piece of cardboard. <laughs> I like this cover. So I don't know what happens after the anime, and I'm not sure what volume the anime ends off on. Volume 19, I love this cover so much. Now I have a cardboard mess. And then this is the most recent volume. I think it just came out last month. This is really thin. So yeah, I'm super excited to have all, almost all the volumes of Snow with the Red Hair. Um, I'm gonna be on the lookout for the other volumes so I can start my read of the series. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi everyone. It's currently the 13th and I went to Barnes & Noble today and I have a package for Mercari. So I'm gonna open the Mercari package first.
Okay, so I picked up a, ugh, I forgot what the magazine is called. I'll put it on the screen. But the reason I picked this up is because of the cover. It's the Attack on Titan cover. And look at Hanji. <laughs> they look so good. <laughs> Seeing this cover makes me feel like they were all just acting in the show and that they're all okay. <laughs> That's what I like to believe. <laughs> and then it also comes with a clear file. And then here is the clear file. You can see everyone clearly now. There's Hanji with Ymir. I can just imagine Hanji asking Ymir a bunch of questions about Titans. So yeah, um, I don't really know what's in this magazine, like what shows. I think that's Black Clover, maybe, I don't know. Um, like I said, is that Blue Lock? It's Blue Lock. <laughs> yeah, I just picked this up because of the cover. I oh, this is Arslan by the same manga who did um, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I'm super excited to have this in my collection. And the clear file. I do collect clear files, but not as like much, you know. <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys what I got at Barnes and Noble. So I went to a Barnes and Noble that I usually don't go to. And when I went, they were having a buy one, get one 50% on all manga. So it was a good day. <laughs> First, let me just show you this. I picked this up like two days ago. Uh, it's Ghost Reaper Girl Volume 4. This is by the same manga as Rosario Vampire, I think. So I picked that up. Now for what I picked up today, I mainly went because they had a bunch of new releases. Uh... Because it was buy one get one 50% off, I was actually thinking about collecting, well, starting my collection of Maidsama and continuing my collection of Skippy, but they did not have any volumes of Maidsama or Skippy that I needed. First, for the new releases, I got the Remarried Empress Volume 2. I'm so happy I finally have this. This is a manhua. It's my favorite manhua of all time. I love it so much. Look, like, look at how good they look. They look so good. <laughs> Navira is just one of my favorite Manhua characters. She's just so strong and I, yeah. <laughs> so super glad I picked that up. Then I got Spy Family Volume 9. This is with Becky on the cover. I really need to get back into the series. Then Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 19 with our lawyer on the cover. <laughs> um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was trying to see what happens in this volume. And then last for early releases actually is Love of Kill volume 11. Ring Ha looks so good. There's back cover. Only two more volumes of this and we are going to be Done with Love of Kill. It's <laughs> unfortunate. Then I got some volumes of series that I was missing volumes for. Um, so first off, I have volume 10 and 12 of Snow White with the Red Hair. Uh, probably the last clip was when I picked up a bunch of the Snow White with the Red Hair volumes. So now I'm missing only... Sorry, I'm trying to see. Volume 5. And then I'm going to start my read for this series. These volumes came up to like $4.40. And then I picked up Wake Up Sleeping Beauty volumes 4 and 6. This cover is beautiful. I want to display this cover. Um, yeah, basically I'm glad that I'm able to complete these two. Well, almost complete Snow with Red Hair and complete Wake Up Sleeping Beauty. So yeah, that's what I picked up today. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have a package coming later today. So I'll probably see you guys later on today. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Hi, everyone. Um, it's literally an hour later. I was just about to leave my house when I saw that I have a Books Million package in the mail. So let's open it. I hate these packages so much, like this type of package. I feel like it ruins a manga more than it protects it.
All right, so I picked up Call of the Night, volume 11. I think I'm gonna reread this series this month. I've only read the first three volumes. Then I picked up Mao, volume 10. It's by the same manga as um, Rama One Half, Inuyasha, Meisani Koku, which I really want to start collecting. I have volume one up, but um, yeah. Need to catch up on this series as well. And the series. Yeah, small haul. <laughs> Uh, I was kind of like, for some reason, I was expecting that the spine was going to be white as well when I saw that the cover was all white. But today when I was at Barnes & Noble, I had a little peek and I saw that it was not all white. This one seems thinner than normal. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys, um, welcome back. Today I went to Barnes and Noble and Second and Charles with my friend and I picked up quite a few things. All right, let me start off with Barnes and Noble first. They're currently having a buy one get one 50% off. So I am taking advantage of that and I picked up quite a few things. All right, so let me show you guys the series I completed. Well, I got up to date for Snow with the Red Hair. Uh, I was only missing this volume. So now I can finally read it. Yeah, super glad I found this. I completed Yu Yu Hakusho. I was only missing volume 16 and they had it. We went to a Barnes & Noble that we usually don't go to. So that's why I was able to find a lot of things. It's a bigger Barnes & Noble as well. And then I completed the girl from the other side. Let me put these in order. <laughs> yeah, so I picked up volumes 8, 10, 11, and 12. Oh no, I didn't even realize this one was damaged. Well, I might exchange this. <laughs> so here's volume 8. I already have all the other volumes. 10, 11, and 12. I think this is, yeah, it's short stories or side stories. This one just came out in like December, I believe. Then I picked up Skip Beat volumes 13 through 15. I own volumes one through six in the omnibuses. So the first two omnibuses. It's kind of hard to come across these omnibuses in store. Then I picked those volume five and six of Noragami. Uh, I think I'm only missing seven through nine now, or seven, yeah, seven through nine. Uh, but they didn't have those volumes, so. Oh, and then also like the newest two volumes. Uh, so yeah, here's volume five. I watched the anime for Noragami. A lot of series, if I haven't read them, I've most likely watch the anime if there is one so that's why i tend to buy series that i have not read because if i enjoyed the anime i most likely will enjoy the manga i've actually read the first two volumes of the series uh but those were the only two volumes that i had at the time so i'm excited to continue it then i picked up all my darling daughters by this manga this is the same mangaka who did um oku which I have in my collection. It's not, com I don't have it completed. I'm missing like eight volumes of it, uh, but I really wanted to get this work by them. It's just a one shot. I kind of want to make a video um, where I like read one shots and like review them. Then I was super shocked to find this. I own volume one of Steins Gate in the Signals by Uran. But they're super hard to come by so i decided to just go the omnibus route and when i found out that it's like also really hard to get i just kind of gave up on it um but when i went there today i found it and it was so weird because no other barns that i've been to has had it in stock um but yeah maybe i should go to this barns more often it is about an hour away from me though <laughs> And then we stopped at Second and Charles, and I found some volumes. 
So the first one I found is volume one of The Water Dragon's Bride. This is by the same manga who did uh, The King's Beast, which I read this month, and Dawn of the Arcana. I have only read The King's Beast and Dawn of the Arcana, and I have not read this, but I have been wanting to collect it. I heard some people say it's not that good, um, but I just love Ray Tomo's art. So I'm going to read this first volume and see if I enjoy it enough to continue collecting it. It was only $2.95, so I just decided to get it. Then I picked up volumes 1 through 5 of Strobe Edge. I got these all for about like $5. This is the only Iosaki Saka work that I don't have in my collection that's printed in English. Um, I think it's an 8 volume series, so I'm missing a few volumes. Um, Iosaki Saga does have another work that's coming out in English in the summertime, I believe. So I'm looking forward to that. I love Yosaki Saka's art so much. So yeah, that's what I picked up in today's haul. Hi guys, it's currently the 20th and I have some in-store pickups. So I'm holding my camera, so sorry if it's a little shaky, but I have volume two of A Condition Called Love. I'm gonna read that soon. And then volume three of In the Clear Moment Dusk. It feels like just yesterday we got volume one, but super excited to read this. And then I picked up volume seven of Noragami, as well as volume 25. I think I'm only missing like three more volumes of this series, so pretty close to finishing this. I've only ever watched the anime. And then I picked up volume one of Happiness at my uh, local Half Price Books. I've read this online and i enjoyed it from what i remember so i'm gonna collect it i think it's only like 12 volumes so yeah that's my little haul for today <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next clip hi everyone i believe it's march 21st and i have a very exciting package from amazon today a box in a box <laughs> As you might have guessed, it's a figure. <laughs> oh my god, I love the box. So if you can't already see, I got a Daki and Gyotaro figure. They are actually my favorite upper moons. Let's open the box. It came with these two clear plastic pieces. God, they look so good <laughs> i'm gonna set this up and i'll show you guys a close-up and here is the figure oh my god it looks so good so here we have Daki. then i'll turn this around and then we have Gyotaro. and the details all look so nice the shading and the colors even Gyotaro's weapon. That's what I've got today. I'm so excited because I have no room to put it. These are my Demon Slayer figures that I currently have. They're by the same company. Um, I forgot what company they're from. But this is definitely bigger than all of them. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one yet. But I'll figure it out. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hi guys, it's March 23rd, I believe, and I have a Books A Million package. I hate this packaging so much. Alright, so the first thing I picked up is Alice in Borderland Volume 5. Uh, I think there's only going to be four more volumes until the series is completed. I have watched the uh, live action adaptation of this. And I enjoyed it, so that's why I'm collecting the manga. Then I picked up the eccentric 
doctor of the moonflower kingdom so that's today's haul and i think today is going to be the last clip of this video hi guys uh today is the 28th i believe and i have an in-store pickup and a barnes noble package so for the in-store pickup i got insomniacs after school volume one i am looking forward to the anime coming out for this but I have not read it. And then let's open the books. No, Barnes Noble package. <laughs> I don't know what the about. All right, so I picked up volumes two through five of After the Rain. I already have volume one. I got this uh, because they were having the buy one get 50% off, so I decided might as well get the series now. I really enjoy Kowloon by this manga, so I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one too. So that's today's mini haul. <laughs> so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!